not technically eligible, but because of the injury to Eckler, we are going to talk about Josh Kelly. He is currently rostered in 50%, 57% of leagues, which is why I say he's not technically eligible. However, he's going to be the, the primary back there unless he keeps fumbling, which he continued to do this week. Um, nobody. Although the, I, I will say that that fumble wasn't actually his fault. It was the quarterback that kind of stuck it on his chest. So yeah. To me, that was a coaching thing. They should have just taken a knee and gone in it for it at halftime, but Herbert kind of botched the... So it wasn't technically Kelly's fault, but again, that's two in two weeks, so something to be concerned about. Yeah, no, and nobody could run at all in this game against the Bucs. I was a little, little surprised. Not surprised that they, you know, I know that they have a very stout defense, however, but... Josh Kelly, nine rushing attempts for seven yards. I mean, I, I was not anticipating seven yards. Uh, he did have three targets, caught all three for 26, which is contributing. Um, that Eckler pass volume is going to do wonders for Josh Kelly. You have to start him everywhere if you got him. Uh, Eckler spotted post game mm-hmm. with crutches and a brace to help him uh, get around. He has a hyperextended knee and hamstring injury. MRI slated for Monday, uh, expected to miss multiple weeks. So not not great. It looked bad. He he was getting tackled, immediately came up. Uh, I believe it was his left leg. He wasn't putting any weight on. And then he was getting tackled by like three dudes on one leg. Um, and then when he got to the side, they picked him up, took him to the sideline. He couldn't even get in the cart because he was in so much pain. It, no. it looked really bad. I, he's going to be out at least a month would be my guess. And then uh, let's talk about their other running back there. Justin Jackson didn't fare any better than Josh Kelly against the Bucks. Six rushes for nine yards, two catches for 12 in week Not four. Nice. No, he's he is, however, very eligible to be added. He's only rostered in about 9% of leagues. Um, let's go back to Josh Kelly. If you don't have, uh, assuming Josh Kelly is eligible, how much fab are you spending on Josh Kelly? Uh, at least 50% of whatever you have left. Yeah. I mean, he's usable even when Eckler's around. I would say at least 50% of fab should be owned in 10 man or larger leagues. Um, even eight man for the next month. Um, Justin mm-hmm. Jackson, how much fab are you spending on Justin Jackson? I would only go like 15%, 20%. Yeah, that seems a little high to me. Um, if you're desperate. But I will say that there's not that many. Yeah, there's not that many people to even be picking up this week, in my opinion. So if you're like super desperate, I guess he's, you know, he's technically probably one of the top running backs to pick up this week. Um, obviously, besides Joshua Kelly. Um, honestly, I wouldn't go more than than 5% on him because I, I think you can get him for that. Um, if somebody's going to go more than that, then. Congrats to them. I would go at least 10 because I think he's got to be looking for double looking at double digit touches every week. And so I, I mean, the way that Herbert checks down, I don't know. I, I, I would tack a little bit more onto Justin Jackson than that. I would do at least 10%, 15% if you really want a good chance of getting him. 